Welcome everybody to this week's edition of Valpo Basketball Weekly. Brandon Vickery with you. Glad to be joined by Valpo head coach Matt Loddick. An exciting time. The calendar's turned to March. And as we get you ready for Arch Madness, Coach, first let's talk about this past weekend's games against Indiana State. Tough loss on Friday night. How were you able to turn it around? And what was so much different about Saturday's performance as compared to game one? Well, I mean, game one, we just really, we pressed. We had a hard time scoring. Um, you know, one of the messages after the game, and we, we did win the second half in that game, I think by seven points, 27, 20. And, and we wanted our guys to really focus on that. I mean, it, it, it is hard, you know, you get tired, you get emotional after losses, and then you have to play the next day. Um, but we did have, we had a nice shoot around that day. We watched some film. Um, you know, we pointed out areas that, that, you know, we really weren't ourselves, especially on the offensive end and, you know, try to shore some stuff up and our guys really executed well. And then obviously the ball went in a little bit better and, and we were able to, to beat a pretty good team pretty handily. You showed constant improvement in your time in the Missouri Valley Conference, improving your seed for Arch Madness each year. And I think most significantly that win on Saturday allowed you to secure the first round bye. Just how important is it to have that bye and go straight into Friday night in the conference tournament? Well, I, I, I mean, it's huge, you know, and it, and it definitely was something that our guys knew and, you know, we talked about and, um, you know, we celebrated, you know, it was the first team to do that. And, um, and so our guys were excited about it. And, you know, last year we won three, you know, I'm, uh, I know anything can happen, but we won three and um, had to win four, you know, this year, if we can uh, duplicate that three, um, we'll be pretty happy. So um, we, we were excited about it and, um, you know, we want to just continue to improve. 49 bench points, outscoring Indiana State on bench points, 49 to three. Jacob Agnosovic, Zion Morgan, Good News Pigale, big parts of that. What did you see from that group on Saturday? Uh, you know, I just thought, um, they, I mean, great energy, right? Donovan picked up uh, two early fouls. Um, good news comes in and, and was just fantastic. I mean, he was energetic on the defensive end, had 10 rebounds by halftime, um, banked in a three. I mean, things were really going his way. Um, Zion Morgan's been pretty consistent of late. Um, he's been another scoring option. His size at the guard position um, has been huge for us, seeing roles, um, being able to get in the lane and finish. And then Jacob, um, well, he puts a lot of pressure on the defense. Um, he is, he's really shooting the ball well, playing with a lot of confidence, um, and has, has been a pretty consistent scorer here um, um, for the last, you know, pretty much the second half of conference. And um, been really excited about him and, and um, um, think he's playing great. Let's talk about uh, just the progression over the course of the season. Uh, let's take me back to maybe after the first Loyola game at home, where the program stood at that point, and then what you've done since. We've gone seven and eight over the last 15 games. Yeah. Easily could be maybe 10 and five with, I think, three three-point losses in there. Just what have you seen as far as the progress within this season? Well, it, look, it, it's, it was – we were in a really tough spot after that Loyola game. I mean, you know, we started off with Missouri State opening up, who's – you know, finished grad, you know, finished third in the league and they're really talented. And, you know, we had them when three days of, of practice time, you know, and that's just the nature of season this season. And then, you know, trying to just continue to get better. And then you've got, you know, you know a Loyola team who's veteran. Um, they've been practicing a lot because they had, you know, a, a, a team coronavirus situation earlier in the year. So they had gotten theirs out of the way. And, um, and we were at a pretty low point. I mean, it was an embarrassing loss for us. Um, and, and really it, a loss that could have in, in a lot of ways broken a team. And, you know, we had a good team meeting after that. Um, we talked about, you know, just being resilient, you know, and talked about you know, not, you know, falling victim to, you know, the excuse making that, you know, pretty much every team in the country could do at that point and just decided to put our heads down and get to work. And, um, and our guys did a great job of it. And um, it's been an up and down year for us. I feel like we haven't been as consistent as maybe we would like, but um, we are getting better and I feel like we've gotten better and um, hopefully we can continue. This will be the first week of practice we've had since the Drake week. Um, so we are looking forward to that and uh, putting some wrinkles in and getting ready for a tournament. And last thing you referenced those Missouri State games being so early in the season and a lot has happened since then, but maybe what adjustments do you make from those first two games and how do you turn it around and beat them in matchup number three on Friday night? Yeah, I mean, look, we've just got to, we've got to do a little bit better of what we do, right? And, and I didn't think we were who we were um, a couple of months ago, right? Or who we are now. Um, so we've just got to be better. And, um, and we've got to try as best we can to take their good players, um, I mean, really, they got a lot of good players, but put them into situations that maybe are a little more difficult for them to be successful. Um, that's ultimately the goal. And, 
you know, in a tournament setting, it'd be good if we can knock some shots in um, and, uh, and go from there. But, you know, we want to go in with a defensive mindset. We want to make things as difficult as possible for them and, and, and see how things turn out. There is the head coach of the Valpo men's basketball team, Matt Loddick, once again. Arch Madness starts for Valpo on Friday night, an 8 o'clock Central Time game against Missouri State. For all the latest this week in Valpo basketball and Valpo athletics, you can follow us on social media or visit valpoathletics.com. This has been Valpo Basketball Weekly, and it's brought to you by Lakeshore Bone & Joint Institute.